Hey crafty friends, it's Mel. So I am just coming with a tip. This is gonna be a silly tip, um, but I didn't know, so um, we'll just go from there. So this is a tip on uh, using some Cricut glitter vinyl. Now, this, I've been eyeing up glitter vinyl. I know a lot of you are, you know, there's group Facebook groups out there with the HTV, um, the heat transfer vinyl, and all the different projects. And I can see why you guys love it, and I've been slowly getting into it myself. Just like everything, I seem to um, kind of wait until, um, you know, things become, like people try them out and do trial and error. Like, I'm kind of glad I didn't buy that mink machine. Um, you know, things like that. And then I kind of see if I like them. And I did the same thing with, like, Distress Ink and Tim Holtz. I, for the longest time, I didn't think I had any interest in them. And now I love them. Um, so, late on the train. Anyway, this is glitter vinyl. And um, I wanted to decorate. This is my laptop, my MacBook, my laptop cover. Um, and I wanted to put something on it because it was just all black. So, I wanted to put, and I still want to add to it. But I had a heck of a time with this glitter vinyl. Yes, it's very, very pretty. Um, I'll show you in here in the roll. It's very sparkly. Um, but it does not work with regular um, Cricut transfer tape or regular transfer tape for that matter. I must have said every cuss word in the book trying to get this straight, trying to get it not to, um, what it was is when you put the transfer tape on and it's supposed to um, stick to this so then you just kind of lay it down and put it on. Um, this part would not stick I guess because the texture of the glitter would not stick to my transfer tape uh, because transfer tape is low tech you know as it is. But what I didn't notice is in with this and it even says it on here if I would have opened my eyes that it includes one roll, one 12 by 48 inch glitter vinyl sheet, and then one sheet of 12 by 12 Cricut Strong Transfer Tape. So my little tip, sorry, I heard a kid crying. My little tip is that inside of here, it even says, and I just happened to see it later, and I was like, dang, I could have used that. Um, but this says Cricut Strong Transfer Tape. Now, I haven't used it um, because obviously I saw it after the fact that I struggled and I cussed and I, you know, said every word in the book. But um, it's right inside your roll. So that's kind of really nice on Cricut's part that they put that in there. You know, as expensive as these things are, it's nice that they included that. Um, so it's just a little sheet there. So had I known that, so I'm guessing that that's going to work a lot better, but it's right there inside your roll and I didn't even know it. So make sure, you know, if you're like me and I just took the little bit off the end to use this and it cut great, it cut really nice, you know, with my Cricut, no problems there, just the transfer. So next time I know, and this could have been a little straighter, but I want to add some little hearts and different things and different color around it. Um, but this is one of my vinyl projects. So I just want to do that little share and show you that. And then I also made this. So um, those of you who have been following me for a while, um, we call my daughter Whoopi, my our two-year-old and then Maya has a nickname too which is bird and it's been that since she's been born but um don't ask me where these came from birds has a um origin she when she was first born she was very early she came a little early she was my first baby and um she looked like a little baby bird <laughs> it's like a little wrinkly baby bird so that's where that's where that came and it just stuck um kids in her class call her that her teacher calls her that my mom calls her that you know her grandmother calls her that so um and then Wubby just kind of came and she's our little Wubby. so anyway Wubby is in the process of potty training we are having a tough time um, but I noticed now that she's been going on the potty, it's really hard to use, not that everybody wants to hear that, it's really hard to use regular toilet paper for her, so I have to, I buy the little, um, flushable wipes. By the way, if anybody is in the same situation as me and has to buy these wipes, I was buying the ones that were, like, from Walmart, the Equate version, where, like, more where the adult stuff are, and they're kind of pricey, even the Walmart version, but these are by Parents' Choice, and it says new and improved, and they don't smell too bad, and they're flushable wipes for a dollar, so a dollar for the same 48 pack that I think I was paying like four or five dollars for so just a little tip but anyway that's what's held in here so we put our wipes in here and um I just put these in here so that they know you know they're known what they are because I have Lysol wipes we have our regular wipes out here for when she had her diapers but now she's evolved to pull-ups and um, we use this so this was another project so I used my favorite um, one of my favorite fonts which is Don Juan and I cut out Wobby's wipes and then I did it over here too so just to um, because this was just a white container and um, that you refill and you didn't know what it was you know what it is in there so now we know so those are my two vinyl projects I got some really fun ones that um, you know what let me pull you up and show you so here's one of my Hobby Lobby purchases I got this little um, 
not little, um, this little wall art thing, but I'm in the process of painting this wall, but I have to fill some holes first. And then this little gem up here, um, I got that from Home Goods, and um, I believe it was supposed to have another clip on this side, and another clip on that side, so it's clearanced out for five bucks. But it's this really nice, blank, distressed um, wood. So I think you guys know where I'm going with this, and that I'd like to add some vinyl, and I'm gonna put our last name, so it'll say like Baylor family, and then obviously, <laughs> this is not my family. Um, so we got to get to work and get some cute pictures. I have one of all four of us that were on a hayride, but um, Wilby was a little bit little. She's kind of small in that. She's like a baby. So I'd like to get a more up-to-date one, but I really like that. And I like the, I told you guys, I'm going to that rustic look. So that's just one of the things that um, I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And then I have some ideas for below and I want to get this little distressed rack um, that has these little hooks on it. And I want to hang some of our mugs on there for our coffee. So anyway, um, that was just a little share. So um, that was just a little tip for anybody who is struggling or new like me. Some of you are probably advanced and you know this stuff, but I didn't realize you have to use different transfer tape for a glitter vinyl, but now I know. And I'm glad because glitter vinyl is so pretty, but if, I had, if that was how it's gonna be every time, I was gonna give it up. So anyway, hope you guys are all doing well. I miss you and um, stay tuned for more videos. Bye.